hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so very happy to have you guys here as always okay today i'm going to be sharing risk factors of ovarian cancer okay so these are the things that increases your risk of having ovarian cancer so if you're new here you're welcome my name is glory and here i share mostly sit down videos you're welcome so today like i said earlier what are the things that increases your risk of having ovarian cancer these are the things i'm going to be talking about even if all these things okay you might still have all these things without having cancer yes it's possible but these things increases your risk of having ovarian cancer the first thing i want to talk about is when you are not pregnant like when you have never been pregnant you don't have any history of pregnancy then this might increase your risk of having ovarian cancer because the hormones that you release during pregnancy will help you to reduce this you know that your ovary is not only producing eggs it's also produces estrogen which is a hormone and the progesterone okay which is another hormone okay so now when you are always pregnant when you are pregnant you release and decrease reduces a lot of hormones okay you transfer a lot during pregnancy carrying the baby and all those stuff and even nursing okay so this is another risk factor when you don't or you have never been pregnant the next thing i want to talk about is when you are obese okay obesity is another risk factor of pregnant and um, ovarian cancer because when you are obese and you have all these things i'm going to be mentioning then please look into reducing that weight because it might bring you or increase your chances of having ovarian cancer the next thing i want to talk about is when it runs to your gene when the ovarian cancer cells runs in your gene or is in your blood that is another factor that might increase your risk of having ovarian cancer. Next one is when you have um, families that had ovarian cancer or you have a family member that had ovarian cancer. This might be a risk factor, okay? Another thing is when you are having endometriosis, okay? When you have endometriosis, which is the lining of your uterus that's supposed to go inside the uterus, it goes outside. This is another risk factor next one is when you had any other type of cancer maybe breast cancer maybe any other cancer okay cervical cancer or other stuff this might mean that you have higher risk of having ovarian cancer okay the next thing is when you are older in age like your age is another thing that might be a factor in increasing your uh, risk of having cancer because when you are older it also means that you might have ovarian cancer like 50 plus are much more prone to having ovarian cancer so these are the things that might bring you closer or increase your risk of having can um, ovarian cancer but then when you have this thing it's also possible for you to have all these things i mentioned without having ovarian cancer okay so there are things you, st you still can do to help your system okay so that is it for today's video i will also share um foods that will help you to reduce chances of having this okay foods that fight ovarian cancer food that can also treat ovarian cancer i will share a video on i will make a video on that okay so if you are new here like i said earlier you haven't hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you notify when i upload a new video please start doing it right now okay so you will get more and more from this channel thank you so much for being here and see you guys in my next video if you like the video give it a thumbs up 